Sunday. Welcome back to our Sunshine Kids Children program. Yay! Why don't we just give yourselves a hand for being here with us today? Hmm, do any one of you remember what did Dede Edison teach us last Sunday? Anyone? Come on, just throw out your answers. Aha! That's right! She taught us about the salt and the light. Great job for remembering! Today, we have a few different teachers who will be leading us in a time of praise and worship. Also, we have Teacher Kaisin who will be sharing the Word of God with us. I know you're excited, but hold up! Let me show you something. Can all of you see what I have here with me in my hands? These are all lists of different shapes and sizes, right? Look at this one. It's so unique. And look at this one. It's so tiny compared to the other two. So cute, right? They all look different, just like you and me. We are different. Some of you may be good at cooking. Some of you may be good at singing. And some of you may be good at helping others and being kind. That's all great. Today, Teacher Kaising will be sharing with us about the talents of the parables. But before we start, can all of us just pray and commit this time to God? Just put your hands together, close your eyes, bow your heads, and I'll pray. Dear God, we thank you for this time that you've given to us, that we can gather through technology despite this MCO. We thank you for being so good and so faithful to us. We pray, Lord, that you will open up our ears and our hearts to receive your word and that we will be able to be attentive to your word today. We ask all this and all God's children say, Amen. Are you ready for worship? Before we start worship, can I just invite all of you to stand up and let's recite the three P's together. P number one, participate during praise and worship. P number two, pay attention during lesson. P number three, ponder and think about what God is saying to me. Easy, right? If you can't do that, just give me a thumbs up. Great. Are you ready for worship now? Because I am. Let's worship Him. Our God is a great big God.
Good afternoon, children. Hello, I'm Teacher Kai Xing. I normally teach in the toddler class, and this is the first time that I teach in Sancha Kid. I feel so happy to see you all today. I hope you are having a good time with your family members at home. Today, we are going to learn about talents. In this lesson, we will learn about what are the special gifts that God gave you and also how to use it for God's glory together. Have you ever compared yourself with a hyper-gifted person, the one who seems to know everything and talented in every area, and you feel like you are less talented as compared to him? Or you ever wondered, poor me, I have no talent. How can I be used by God? And it's actually God has given to each of us at least one special gift that He wants us to use it for Him. He expects us to be faithful with what He has entrusted us with. What matters to God is not the gift itself, but how we use it for His glory. We are going to look at a story from the book of Matthew titled The Parable of Talents. Let's watch the video together and ponder what God is saying to you from the video. The story starts with a rich man going on a long journey. He gathers together three of his servants and asks them to watch over his money while he's gone. He gives one servant five bags of money, the next servant two bags of money, and the last servant only one bag of money. He gave them monies based on their talents and abilities, and then he left. The servant who got five bags of money invested his money in other things and doubled it. The guy who got two bags went to work and also doubled his money. But the guy who got one bag just buried it in the ground. When the rich guy came home, he gathered the servants to talk about his money. When he found out the first guy doubled his money, he was really proud. Then the next guy told him that he earned two more bags of money by working really hard. The rich guy was happy with him too and gave him more responsibilities. Then the last guy told him he just buried the money because he didn't want to lose it. This made the rich guy really mad and he told him he was lazy and didn't deserve the money. So he gave it to the first guy. And that's the end of the story. So what can we learn from this? Let's take a look. God gives everyone different kinds of talents. Did you notice how not everyone got the same amount of money? It's the same way with us and the talents God gives it to us. Some people will be really smart, some people will be really strong, and some people will be really nice. They're all different, but they're all important. Based on the video, the bag of the money actually means the talent that God give them. Do you remember what the first and the second servant do with their talent? Yes, the first and second servant, they use their talent wisely and they multiply the outcome. They most probably thought, hmm, my master is good and kind. I must serve him well. And in return, the master give them more. And do you remember what the last servant do with the talent? Yes, he dug a hole and he hide the talent given by his master under the ground. His actions show that he is lazy and he did not love his master. And when the master returned, he was so upset and he took away his talent from him and he gave to the other servant. Jesus told this parable to teach that God has given each of us at least one special gift that he wants us to use it for him. But you must know that talent comes in many forms and there are many ways that you can use your talent to worship God. So let us look at some examples together. If you are good in music, like singing, playing musical instrument, or even you can write a song, you can join the worship team or you can write a worship or praise song for God. And next, if you are good at sport, for example, badminton, basketball, 
football, you can join the sport ministry, or you can even become a Christian athlete that you give glory to God in every game that you play. If you are good in dancing, you can join Expressive or even the Banner Worship Team in our church. And lastly, if you are good in art, like drawing, sketching, painting, you can actually do some prophetic art or you can join the art ministry. These are just some of the examples of how we apply our talent to worship God. There are many other ways that we can use our talent, but remember, it's not by burying them like the lazy servant did because he don't love his master. Kids, I believe that you learn a lot from the parable of talent. Children, do you know that what's coming up on next Sunday? It's Mother's Day! You have learned a lesson on talent. Can you use your talent to invite your mother to a pampering session? Hmm, you must be wondering how you can do it. Well, if you are good at singing, dancing, acting, or even play musical instrument, you can invite her to a show performed by you. Or if you are good at cooking, you can invite her to a home-cooked dinner session prepared by you. Oh, you can also do a relaxing massage session to pamper, pamper her. Remember that your talent comes in many forms. You can discuss with your mother what are the talent that she sees in you and what you can do for her on, the, on this Mother's Day. Now, we are going to make a talent time ticket for your mother. Here are some of the examples for your reference. Moving on, we are going to do some art and craft. So to do the talent time tickets, you will need some color paper, ruler, scissors, pencil, and also some color pencil or you can use marker pen. First, you need to measure 9 cm on A4 paper so you mark it with the pencil and you draw a line on it and then you cut according to the line but be careful when you are using a scissors So you have the shape of the ticket now. So I will start by drawing the outline for tickets. Like you can draw something like this or for now I will draw another design. start decorating the corner
kids, welcome back. I have shown you step by step on how to design the talent time ticket. I hope you can do it as a surprise for your mother after this. Alright kids, I gotta go. Auntie Jolly will pray for you all right now. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, we thank you for giving each of us special gifts. We love you and we want to use these gifts for you. Please show us how to improve and use our gifts for you. And if we compare ourselves to others or feel jealous of their gifts, please remind us that you love us all the same and gave us the perfect gifts for who we are. We love you, Jesus. And all the children say, Amen. Hi kids, I am back. I'm sure all of you were impacted from today's lesson. And Teacher Kaizen also taught you how to make talent time ticket for your mom for Mother's Day, right? Children, can you guys snap a photo of your pampering session with your mothers and send it to your connect leaders in your zone because they are going to forward it to us. That's all for this week. See you next week for Mother's Day. Also, don't forget to share about our Sunshine Kids Children program with your friends. See you next week. Bye. Love you. God bless you.